and welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am to bring to you somebody in full transparency that I had a chance to work with. And I know how amazing, how just how smart this this person is. And guys, y'all give it up for none other than Bryant Carcamo. Thank you so much, Gary. Happy to be here. Yeah, <laughs> it's great to have you, Bryant. Man, I'm just excited to, to kind of watch the things that you've been doing. You've been growing something incredibly special. But before we get into um, this, I want to give you a chance to share a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Yeah, I really appreciate it. I'm just excited to be here on the show. I feel like so many <laughs> of the multifamily greats have been here, and so I feel really honored to to be part of the conversation. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Uh, my, my, yeah, my background, um, I spent about 10 years in multifamily, uh, working uh, at Steadfast with you and, and a lot of other folks in multifamily. Uh, I was director of revenue management at, at uh, Steadfast, you know, really kind of writing pricing strategy and being the financial analyst for the uh, for the company. Uh, and then about two years ago, decided to leave my job and start uh, Visibly. Uh, we make a decision intelligence platform for multifamily helping owners uh, and operators execute on their financial plans. Uh, and so, yeah, I'm super excited to uh, talk a little bit about what inspires me and, and be here on the show. Oh, that's fantastic. And, and when I say Bryant is probably one of the smartest guys I know, he is probably one of the smartest guys I know. I've seen him work and the stuff that he does is just like mind blowing. It's it's so it's so it's so complex and yet it's so easy to use. So just just amazing. Big kudos to you, Bryant. Um, I'm, I'm always envious of just like truly smart, smart people. So I, I like to you. I like to hang around smart people. I'm just hoping it kind of by osmosis, I can absorb something. But uh, <laughs> I'm working, still working on it. Yeah, I um, so, Brian, I always love to connect with leaders that I find inspiring. And I always like to peek behind the curtain and say, OK, what inspires this incredible leader? And so I reached out to you and I was like, Brian, hey, what inspires you to do all the incredible things that you do? You sent back some great notes on the things that inspire you. And so what I want to share first or ask you first is dare to dream a big dream, but also appreciate the here and now. That was like that is such a such an incredible statement. And yet it's so like polar opposite almost. So share with us what that means and, and how this statement inspires you. Yeah, thank you. So, you know, what I was thinking about what what motivates me, what inspires me, you know, I was thinking a lot about when I used to be just an employee at Steadfast, you know, uh, working hard, trying to ri uh, rise in the corporate ranks. Um, and, and, you know, so much of life is spent doing things that um, that you know, you, you want to get to a certain place in life, you know, like I'm, I'm a first generation, you know, uh, 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 ch you know, child of immigrants. My parents are from Mexico. First one to go to high school, first one to go to college, you know, and, and I think a lot of my career early on, especially after graduating was about doing the things that I should do, you know, like I was, I was really motivated to, uh, you know, have a white collar job, you know, and, and to kind of enter corporate life. And that was really rewarding, you know, in many ways. Um, but I certainly, as I reflect back on those years, I don't know if I really had like a, a strong mission statement or like a purpose for why I was doing things, you know? And, yeah. and certainly I think the pursuit the pursuit of, you know, having a certain place in life or financial security can, can certainly lead to a lot of really wonderful things. Um, but it can also leave one just a little bit empty, you know? Uh, it, it doesn't totally fulfill someone, you know, when, when they're going through life. Um, and, and now that I, I think I, I left that and I started visibly um, I, I think it's really important to uh, dream really big, you know, and, and reach really ambitious goals. Uh, and that's been especially motivating to me now because, you know, I've got a whole, uh, you know, family to take care of, uh, my employees. And, and I think uh, now I, now that I'm in my 30s, you know, I certainly feel like, um, yeah, maybe, maybe we should have the courage, you know, to go pursue that life that we want to go uh, and live because we can often get pretty comfortable being, uh, you know, complacent or, or, or just uh, not willing to give up, you know, all the, all the things that we've accomplished, you know, through hard work and, and potentially risk it all, you know, for yeah. doing a big dream. Wow. You know, Brian, there's a couple of things that you said in there that really resonate with me. You know, one, you were the first in your family to do a lot of different things. And you made a comment about these are the things that I should do. And so these are the things that you did because those were kind of the expectations. But it would, I can see how a lot of us never ask ourselves, what do I want? 
It's more of like, what should I want? What should I be doing? And yet you kind of took that question to heart and said, hey, what do I want? I want to, I want to go after a big dream. And at the same time, I'm, I, you know, I've got a family, so I'm going to work these two things, but I'm going to risk it so that I can do the things that I want and, and fill your life with, you know, inspiration and inspiring other people along the way. Yeah, that's right. Uh, and, and you know, the, the thing about it is that it's often really challenging to know what you're here to do, right? Like, what well, what's your purpose? And and it takes just a lot of, I think, experience and, and going through the hard knocks of life, I think, to even start to get a semblance of, hey, what am I good at? You know, what, what, what kind of value do I want to bring to the world, you know, both professionally and personally? And and I think about um, maybe like two years ago, you know, especially once, once, once I had children, children have a way to... <laughs> focus your life and you know, yes. um, you know once I once I had kids I, I kind of realized that you know, I'm either gonna live this this dream life that I want or I'm not you know like we we all get older and and eventually you know this is the only life that we get to live and so why not um, maximize the most out of it you know uh, while we're here but but you know certainly I think it's good to be focused on goals and ambitions you know in the future but I think uh, another thing that I'm realizing now is that, um, you know, the, the life that you're living is the dream life that you're living, right? Like you have to appreciate, I think, the moments and, and the journey as you go through them. Yeah. And I, and I like how that you recognize there's value in truly working on both the, the value of being in the moment, being with your, your wife and your kids and, you know, recognizing that, you know, being present is so valuable. And there's value in chasing and, and what is my purpose and, and going after something and figuring it out. You never know until you try. And and I've seen you do this and it's been incredibly inspiring to me to see somebody that, you know, was doing what I should have should be doing, you know, what everybody's expectations are of me. But you took a break and said, hey, I, I'm, I'm chasing this to figure out if indeed this is my purpose. But at the same time, I know the here and now my wife and kids that's yeah. you know that's value that's value as well yeah and you know kids have a way of reminding you how fast uh, you know time flies by yes and, and i think it's it's really important to you know set set goals for yourself you know and try to achieve them in, in a timely uh fashion but then also to understand when you need to pivot right when, mm. when you sort of do something else because you're not um there, there's a niche that you want to scratch and, and you want to kind of push yourself and, and get out there yeah, I love that. That you had to bring in an Excel reference about pivoting. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. that was good. <laughs> so Brian, one of the other things that you shared with me about that inspire you inspires you is the focusing on self-improvement, never getting complacent. And I love how you 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 added a note it says you're inspired those by those people that really go after it and make things happen. So what does that mean, self-improvement and then those people that really go after things? How does how does how does that inspire you? Yeah, I, I think for me, you know, the 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 journey that I've been on is that sort of in the absence of like a really strong mission or purpose, it's been about learning as much as possible, you know, and trying mm -hmm. to be really kind of the best at one's craft, right? When, when I was that fast, it was about being you know, the best analyst, right? Or the, or the best the Excel guru, as, as you remember. <laughs> Um, or, you know, running a budget workshop, right? Or kind of being that, that support person for for the company. And, and I found a lot of satisfaction in that. You know, certainly my skill set uh, grew a lot. And, and now that I'm learning sort of another discipline, you know, which is software, right? And how to create a, a software product that the industry finds valuable. It's been just really uh, motivating to talk to other executives, other leaders in the industry, right? And, and kind of see what makes them tick. You know, like mm -hmm. I, I was just recently in Austin this last week at this uh, NMHC Emerging Leaders event. And I got to talk to... Um, uh, uh, Mike Lind, uh, the the president and CEO of of Kairos, and and you know huge developers, the ones who build all the skyscrapers, you know, <laughs> in, in, in downtown Austin, and they talked about you know how they got to the places that they got to, you know, which which required tremendous work, you know, sacrifices, um, you know, doing things that make them uncomfortable, uh, and, and and I think. Uh, and I think it was really inspiring because you get to see that, you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel, you know, that mm. to sort of be uh, great, you have to really commit yourself to excellence, you know, to to continue to push yourself, you know, uh, beyond your boundaries. 
and you know I'm still young, right? I have lots of life to uh, live, and and I want to make sure that uh, as I can continue through kind of this journey, that I keep improving myself. Wow, that's so good. And so there's a couple of things for me that really kind of stood again, Brian. You know, one is you are in a, in a position, and yet what you what your focus was was I'm going to learn everything I can about it wherever i'm at right here right now i'm going to learn as much as i can and i saw you do that i mean that was you were just one of those individuals that was you know absorbing everything you could and then actively you know seeking knowledge and and skills so that you could continue to to grow that role and that was such such an inspiring thing to see you i mean one of the, you know, the systems that I remember you learning was Python. You're like, I, I've never been there, but I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to learn it. And I watched you do it. You, you know, I was on videos with you and you were like, hey, I've just learned this Python thing. We're going to figure this out together. I'm like, this is so uh -huh. incredible. Um, and then the second thing that you talked about is, you know, learn as much as you can and then go take risks. You know, I think that was a big thing that you learned from the, the CEO that you spoke to in Austin. So taking that risk is valuable to to make things happen. Yeah. And, and you know, I think I think all within the talk context of providing value to other people, you know, like like when, when you mentioned, you know, me learning how to code at, at work. You know, part of it was uh, self-preservation, certainly, as we we're trying to get through, you know, some pretty challenging times. Uh, but also uh, what's been amazing has been just teaching other people, you know, how to do the work or uh, or lifting other people up, you know, as we go through through career. Uh, it's been amazing to have such a great network of, you know, former Steadfast Associates, right? Folks like us who've gone to other companies uh, and see how we all help each other out. You know, certainly I've been uh, supported and helped by not just my family, you know, my my beautiful wife and loving children, but also just a lot of coworkers, right? Who, hey, I need I need help, or like, can you give me some product feedback? You know, it's it's important to build a really uh, deep network, right, of, of folks that you enjoy working with. Yeah. Um, to always treat people, I think, with you know compassion and humility, uh, be helpful. I think that's that's what served me. Uh, very well, you know, without sort of expecting something in return, uh -huh. uh, because you never know, right? You never know when you need other people, and and I think I think having people who uh, all kind of lift each other up is makes for hopefully a very fruitful life. Yeah, and I think that's that's something that's really neat to see in you as well, Brian. Is you you have you are so gifted at the networking, and and essentially it's just building relationships. And no matter even if you're working together side by side or you're a thousand miles apart, you still maintain those connections to maintain the relationships because you never know, you know, you know what you may need down the road. But you're building the relationships just because of relationship sake first, not because you're looking for something down the road. Yeah. Um, and, yeah. And, and that's been a very common, I think, pattern, you know, as, as I talk to other kind of very successful people and, mm -hmm. and other executives is, is sort of the, the deep networks that they have. Yeah. And what's really inspirational is that you get to see that, hey, how do I go from zero to maybe having this like multi-billion dollar like construction <laughs> company and, yeah. and one step at a time, you know? Uh, I recently heard an interview, I think, with Oprah, and and she talked about how uh, it's about kind of doing uh, once you once you've identified where you want to go and having that purpose, doing everything that advances you towards that goal uh, is really the way to, to make it. Uh, and and you know when when you talk to these folks, it's like that there's sort of nothing. Um, they're certainly very strong individuals, right? And and they have their own kind of personal uh, magnetism, if you call it, but. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's like anyone can go and, and build, you know, the life that they want, you know, with enough hard work and help along the way. Yeah. And I think being deeply curious mm -hmm. and going after those things is 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 a value. That's a that's a skill and a talent in of itself. So that's unbelievable. Brian, it has been it's always great to connect with you and chat with you. Um, we're getting close to the end of our time. But before we wrap up, I want to give you a chance to share a closing thought with us. Yeah, my closing thought would be to everyone out there who has a dream and they want to go and pursue it. 
you know, to take the first step and start doing uh, and talk to other folks who think that they might help you along the way. Mm-hmm. I think there's a lot of uh, goodwill that, that is around, especially in our industry. And I think it's in- incredibly important. You know, right now our industry is going through some some pretty interesting times, right, with the economy, with uh, uh, the different aspects that are affecting the multifamily industry. And there's a ton of opportunity out there for those who want to start a business or uh, want to build uh, great relationships in the industry. Wow. I love it. You heard it from Bryant. Go after, find your purpose, go after it, maintain those relationships. Bryant, that's gold right there, sir. I appreciate you so much. Guys, I'm going to put the link to Visibly in the show notes. Make sure you go check it out. It's an incredibly amazing. I had a chance to kind of look at some sneak peek of the uh, the system there, and it is dare I say, pretty amazing. It's pretty brilliant. So go check it out. I'm going to put the link to Visibly in the show notes. Bryant, thank you again for joining me today on the Super Fantastic Exchange, and we will see you on the next episode. Thank y'all. Thanks, Gary.